Okay, I'm not sure what this test is supposed to really show, but I, th I know people do it, so I'm gonna do it. All right, this is the first turn on of this machine. I haven't turned on yet at all. I guess that was what that was supposed to show. Uh, anyway, I've got it all assembled, so I'm not sure if there's anything I dislike about it. So far, it's really, it's gone together really easily. Um, everything went together like it should. Nothing was squirrely or missing or anything like that. The only thing I don't love would be the fence. When you move it, I don't know if you can see this, but when you move it, it isn't, you gotta kinda push it in the middle. It doesn't have any sort of, you can see it kind of gets bound up when you move it. Um, I think it has to do more with the, this isn't wider, and then the slides aren't farther away from the center line. I don't know, it's not a big a deal. It's just something, if I had to come up with something bad on the saw, that would be it. Um, once you lock it into place, even if it's crooked, you can see it jumps over square. So, uh, it's super easy to lock and unlock, which is nice. It's got a real easy to read uh, tape on it. And the other thing that, this is just a setup issue. From the factory it comes with um, uh, probably an eighth of an inch, and eh, maybe less than an eighth, but it's more than a sixteenth of an inch of a gap between the fence and the bed. And that's, I just, I like it a little closer than that. But again, that's just an adjustment. There's nothing there's nothing right or wrong about that. I just like it a little tighter. Um, so really, that's the only thing I can say. These controls move so smoothly compared to my old saw. It's like night and day. Um, so, so far, super impressed. All right, now the wheels on this thing, it's like a wheelbarrow. These two adjustment screws tighten up against the wheels so it locks it into position where you got it where you want it. So to move it, you loosen these. up here and then you can use these like I guess wheelbarrow handles and move this thing around it's pretty neat all right this is right out of the box no setup just uh, assembled like the instruction said uh, we got the miter gauge in with a mighty mag and a dial indicator we're just gonna see what kind of parallel parallelism we get might be kind of hard to do all with one hand let me try here okay uh, sitting at uh, 42 thousandths. Let me pull it back just a touch. So starting about 40 thousandths. To 55. Seems a little excessive to me. I have something going on with my setup. You go 45 to 53, and I don't have that dial indicator totally parallel. So some of that might be just dragging, because once I pull it, I get much less run out. Let's see if we adjust this thing here. Yeah, see, as soon as I push, we get some movement of dragging on that blade. So let's start here. It's at 52 and a half. Up to 56 and a half. So four thousandths run out in front to back of the blade. That's pretty good for factory setup, we can change that a little bit, but 4,000s, I think, on wood is more than acceptable.